Ah, what a beautiful day. Who could that be? He's here, he's here, he's here. Ah. Oh, that work. He's here, he's here. He's here, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. Hey, what's up, my guy? Hey, fun time, Freddy. So, buddy. How's it been? It's been good. I'm wondering if you could have a sleepover. Uh, sure. Let me ask my brother, Freddy. He owns his apartment. Be right back. Ah, <sighs> finally. Peace at last. I think I'll take a nap. Freddy, 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 Freddy! What? What, what is it going, Freddy? Um, I was wondering, can fun time Freddy have a sleepover here? Um, what's the catch? Um, he has to sleep in my room. Okay, but if he makes a mess, yeah, yeah, I know. He has to clean it up. Okay. But there's also another rule. Okay, he can't sleep here. Really? Yep. Pretty please. Nope, nope, nope. Pretty please. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, okay, okay. You win. You can stay here for the night. But in the morning, he has to go. Can you please have breakfast with us then? <sighs> Fine. But only if you are good this weekend. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. Okay, okay. You win. Just go to your room. I'm gonna do some work. Oh, uh, see ya. Okay. Bye. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So let's talk about our sleepover plans. And by the way, sorry about the coho melon. So, what do you think we should do for the sleepover plans? Huh. Should we invite Frosty Bear? Sure. He is one of us. Okay, I'll go get him. Wait. Hold on, dude. What? Maybe we can have a Freddy sleepover. How good oh, does that sound? That sounds good. But there's one problem. What? I don't think my brother will join us. Yeah, that's okay. We'll just have almost all the Freddies. Hmm. Wait. There's only one other Freddy in this room. And his name is Frost Bear. Okay, I'll go get him. <laughs> oh, hi, Golden Freddy. Um, what are you doing here? Um, I was wondering if you would like to join our sleepover. Um, oh, hold up. Where are we having it? In my room. Oh, I'll join you. Okay. Okay, meet you at your room, buddy. So, what do you think of my room? Dude, this is dope. Yeah, I haven't seen better. Yeah, these walls are cleaner than mine. Usually I clean them all the time. Yeah, I worked on it myself. Didn't Freddy come in here and clean this a few days ago? Um, maybe. Yeah, I kind of expected that. So... Where are we going to sleep? We are going to sleep right there. Yeah, this is better than I thought. Yeah, I worked hard on it. Yeah, Freddy didn't know about the sleepover, so yeah, I think you actually did this part. Hey, I do things on my own all the time. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, fun time, Freddy, do you believe him? Of course I do. I'm his best friend. See, he believes. Yeah, okay, okay. So, what are we going to do until it gets dark? Hmm, I have an idea. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Funtime Freddy? I think I do. You've got to be kidding me. So, who has a scary story? I have a scary story. And this one 
is a real one. This is the story of Nightmare Central. One time, I was not always like this. I was a regular Freddy Fazbear until I was captured by Nightmare Central. They did some weird surgery on me, put something in me, and then they locked me in a way in a freezer. Whatever they put in me, it was a weird energy that turned my body into permanent frost. And then was not the scariest part. The scariest part was the inmates. William Apt, a no-born serial killer. After losing his family, he killed children for sport and for immortality. His idea worked too well. He went to prison, but then he busted out, infusing himself with the serum he used from the souls. And after that, he was captured by Nightmare Central. He found an old spring lock suit. And what he thought was safe was his biggest regret. He turned from William Afton, the serial killer, to Springtrap. The nightmare. That's it. How did you like it on time, Freddy? That was really chilling. Is that true? It's in fact a true story. Ah! Really, man? Really? If it's real, I don't care if I scream. Oh my god. So, go on, Freddy. Do you have a story? In fact, I do. This one is the monster in the forest. One time, there were some explorers that went into the mountain. But then, what they thought was a myth, eventually was their deepest regret. The hikers were killed, never found again. And they say the monster still lives in the mountains to this day. And yet what they say, you can hear his moans. And what the biggest thing is, he, when he gets your scent, there's no hiding from it. Let's just get a good night's sleep, guys. I second that. Me three. Mm. Well then, good night, guys.